Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauranga Vani Pachari Nenya Vrsa Sasunya Vani Pashtyatya Devi Satari Nenya Panchakalpa Thiru Vishya Vipa Sindhu Pevaja Patita Nam Bhavane Vyo Vaishnava Vyo Namaho Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadar Har Sri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Yala Prabhupada Ki Jai So as was, as was announced, we want to uh, take some time, which is appropriate to uh, honor the departure of a very special devotee who left the world uh, yesterday, uh, March 4th at 12.15 p.m. Uh, Indian Standard Time. And that is uh, Pankajangri Prabhu. Um, I will try to say a few things that I think is indicative of his outstanding devotion to the Lord. Of course, whatever I can say is just insignificant. And these are just incidents or uh, realizations that are shared by many about his qualities and his uh, steady devotion since the time he joined Back in uh, 1973, uh, him and his brother, uh, Janani Vas Prabhu, who was the person who actually brought Pankajangri to Mayapur and to ultimately to Krishna consciousness, who came earlier in 1972 and uh, was one of the early pioneers to help develop the Mayapur project. Um, Prabhupada has also given direct comments about both of these brothers, um, glorifying their qualities and their ideal character and also their dedication and devotion. It was posted just, uh, I think, yesterday by uh, uh, Mahima Mai, the uh, wife of Mahatma from Croatia about a, a little dialogue that was there between Tamal Krishna Goswami and uh, Srila Prabhupada. I don't know if the devotees had read that, but let me see if I can find it. Uh, I just thought of it just now. Yes, I found it. Tamal Krishna Goswami says, these two Pujari, the two brothers, Prabhupada says, yes, their ideal, Tamal Krishna. They look like they're out of the Chaitanya Charitamrita. They appear as two persons right out of that book. Papa said, yes, very good boys. Tamal Krishna says, Vaikuntha men. Papa said, oh yes, they do not expect, they, they do not accept the deities, very good boys. In other words, they don't do any, they, they do fully absorbed in deity worship. Perfect team of brothers, Prabhupada says, oh yes, therefore Krishna has brought them here in Mayapur. Previously, they were very advanced. All of you, you are simply born because the mission was to be started. That's a room conversation, February 16th, 1977. So that's quite towards the end of Prabhupada's stay with us. So uh, we have a little bit of indication even from his divine grace, you know, he could understand and see that these two devotees who had come to dedicate their lives to Sri Dan Mayapur, and not just in deity worship, but in serving the whole mission of Sri Ma Dan Mayapur in many of the aspects of it, being stalwart um, advisors to the devotees, 
in terms of the spiritual context and spiritual activities. Pankajangri Prabhu specifically was very dedicated to reading and studying and speaking Srimad Bhagavatam. Um, I had the good fortune to um, live next to him when I was staying in Mayapur. We were in the same building and uh, his room was next to mine. And uh, we would, of course, interchange a lot because we would see each other. But I would notice sometimes when I pass his room, he'd be sitting there reading Srimad Bhagavatam. And he was very enthusiastic to speak the philosophy. So much so that he even found uh, times during his uh, life in Mayapur to leave Mayapur and to go out and preach Krishna consciousness in different areas of the world. A lot more than Janani Vas did. Janani Vas left maybe once or twice, but mostly if he did leave, he left for India. But Uncle Junkri, he came to the West. He came to the UK, Bhaktivedanta Manor. He also came to Slovenia, where I am, and many other cities around Europe. He traveled and preached Krishna consciousness. His, uh, his enthusiasm, his character, was he was very serious, but he has, uh, had a very light side about him also. He could be very jovial, jovial very uh, friendly, and uh, very much uh, inspired to uh, direct devotees in either philosophical teachings or in deity worship. On the personal level, um, I remember we would uh, we would have the uh, morning program in Sridhar Mayapur. And after the Japa period, which followed the Tulsi Puja, then there would be the second half of the program, which would begin with uh, the Duty is the RT to Lord Nishringadev, a short RT. This would be the second Nishringa RT in the morning. The first one after Mangal RT, and the second one to begin the second part of the program. And then we would all go to Panchatattva. And then we would greet Panchatattva and sing uh, yeah, Naratam Das, this is the quarter song, uh, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Doya Kora Mori. We would sing that song, uh, welcoming the Panchatattva. Then we would go back to uh, Radha Madhava's section and wait for the deities to open. And then there would be, once the deities would open, and then after taking the quick darshan, then Prabhupada would come on his palanquin from Radha Madhava, then he would go directly to the Shringadev's altar and standing on the Shringadev's altar would always be Anka Jangri. Standing with the Shringadev's uh, Padapita, his footprints, and giving Srila Prabhupada his, uh, his uh, Charinamrita. And then they would take Prabhupada around and he would circumambulate the entire temple. But I remember after Prabhupada would get his Charinamriti, all the sannyasis would line up and they would go and uh, get the Padapita on their head like that. So, um, and I would always, I would always know because on top of the Padapita of, uh, of, um, of uh, when he was holding the Padapita, there would be Tosi leaves that came directly from the feet of Lord Vishringadev. So I knew that. So when I would go up, and sometimes I would be the first one to come, depending on who was there in the line. I would always put my hand out to indicate, give me those Tulsi leaves. <laughs> he would look at me and kind of like, okay. And then he would take those Tulsi leaves off of Lord, Lord Mishringadeh's feet and he would hand them to me. <laughs> And then I would get a crowd of people running around me wanting to get a part of it. <laughs> uh, 
and then I would distribute whatever I had, except and keep this little mercy for myself like that. So uh, he was always very open when I put my hands out to get those tosilis. He didn't have to do that, <laughs> but he did it. And I always felt uh, especially blessed by that. Uh, this is one of his uh, amazing qualities. He was also into Jagannath a lot. And especially we just down the road from the uh, Mayapur Mandir is the uh, uh, temple of Lord Jagannath in Raipur, I think it's called Raipur. And uh, there, uh, there's a beautiful big deities of Jagannath Baladev Subhadra, which were gotten by Jayapataka Maharaj and brought into ISKCON. They were they're they are hundred year old, hundreds of years old deities that were being worshipped in the area. Beautiful deities, immense deities, huge. And they came and became part of, that was in 1979, those deities came. And then we started a very simple worship. But throughout the time that we were developing the worship, there were many, many incidents where Jagannath would inter interact with the devotees in the most amazing way. So many stories of how Jagannath was playing his pastimes along with the devotees. And uh, Pankajangri would always organize this little satsang. Every time we took darshan there, or we had some festival in front of Jagannath, and he would speak about these different incidents that devotees would give to him. And then later on, he wrote it into a book. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. He wrote the, the pastimes of Lord Nishringadeva into a book. Yeah, because the devotees would report to them him about the different incidents they had with Nishringadeva and other, others with Jagannath. So the ones with Nishringadeva, he wrote into a particular book, which was later distributed and uh, are mostly within the area of India. But it, it illustrates some of the intimate pastimes that Lord Nishringadeva it was having different devotees at different times. And these were quite miraculous in the past time, intimately with Lord Jagannath and with Lord uh, Nusringadev. And worshipping both of them, mostly Lord Nusringadev, he became the Nusringadev Pujari. The story how Lord Nusringadev came in uh, 1986, July, I think it was July 86, uh, Nusringadev came to Mayapur, but before then, we had gotten attacked by local Dakwites and Gundas who came in a very ferocious way to attack our temple. And then there was a big fight and a couple Dakwites were killed. And uh, one devotee who was a, uh, Sanyasi, he, he lost his leg. And then because of that, you know, he... And uh, so that was a very ferocious attack. After that, they decided that some of the one, one or two of the leaders in Mayapur said, we need Nusringadev. So that was done. And after two years, Nusringadev appeared in Mayapur. And Janati uh, Pankajangri agreed to take over the worship of Lord Nishringadev. And that's Ugra Nishringadev. And his most fearsome feature is Ugra. Because Lord Nishringadev has nine forms that he appears in his Ugra feature. And he has eight other forms that he appears in a more passive feature. But within the Yuga category, the most ferocious is when he's breaking through the pillar and all he sees is Harani Kashipu. And then in that mood, you know, he is quite ferocious. So to worship that deity, <laughs> just to even think about worshiping that deity would send chills down the spines of any, everyone. But Pankajangri, he was uh, willing to take on it. He, in fact, he volunteered for it. And he kept it steady throughout his whole time. And anytime there were devotees who were getting sick around the world, so many times there would be petitions for Lord Nishringadev to intervene and pray for these devotees, help these devotees. 
and they would uh, set, we would, Pankajangri would set up a whole series of prayers and offerings and puja to Lord Nusringadeva on behalf of these devotees. And he did this regularly and he helped so many devotees uh, through the mercy of Lord Nusringadeva. So his dedication to his service of Lord Nusringadeva was amazing. And of course, he was involved with Panchatattva worship, very much also like that. Uh, these are some of the uh, some of the wonderful uh, qualities of uh, Janani Vas, another, I mean, of Pankajangri. I think, I believe it was in the 1980s or maybe a little later. Um, uh, it was suggested that him, he take the sannyas order of life. And he simply responded in a very simple form. He said, I'm too busy holding bells and incense and ghee lamps to be holding sannyas dandas. <laughs> so he loved his service. He was dedicated to it. And he didn't need sannyas to preach because he was preaching through his service and he was also preaching regularly giving classes. He loved to dance along with his brothers. Both of them were very unique in the way they danced. I had the good fortune of, to be in many of the kirtans that they were involved with dancing. They were always enthusiastic. And I, it was amazing. Sometimes I would be in the kirtan in the evening in Mayapur dancing with the, the, the local devotees. And then all of a sudden, when the kirtan would start to really, really pick up, enthusiastic, all of a sudden you'd see Pankajangri and Janani Vas, they would just appear in the kirtan, <laughs> which would take the kirtan up to an even higher level. So they were always, uh, although they had much responsibility with deity worship, managing and advising the deity departments and uh, organizing the dressing, organizing the uh, the uh, making of outfits for the deities, which was a very, very uh, uh, intricate service that took many, many months to do. They had much responsibility. On the altar, there's Radha Madhava Astasaki, that means there's nine deities on that altar. Panchatattva, there's five, there's 10 deities on that altar, two sets of Panchatattva. And then, of course, Lord Nishringadev and Pallad Maharaj, two more, Srila Prabhupada, so many deities that were needed care. So they organized very successfully. And there was never any, any lack in the deity worship. And we saw that over the years, that as the deity worship continued, but never, there was never any problems. There was always enough pujaris. There was always enough persons to come forward and do services. And there was a lot of inspiration. Um, I had many good fortunes just to spend time with them, talk about Krishna consciousness, talk about Mayapur. Uh, I would meet them at different programs in Mayapur where we would have uh, pravachan on different subject matters. So uh, their dedication to Krishna consciousness was amazing. It seems like we've entered a very unusual dichotomy right now. Now that Pankajangri has left, it seems like those two were inseparable. They were Mayapur themselves. When you thought about Mayapur, and this is not just a statement or cliche, it's actually an understatement. When you thought about Mayapur, you thought about Pankajangri and Janani Vas. They were like emblems of what Mayapur actually uh, rec uh, represented. You know, complete dedication to deity worship, very, very uh, organized in their service, dutiful very humble. They also began the Mayapur Institute. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not Mayapur Institute, but Mayapur Academy. 
which taught deity worship and cooking to devotees around the world. Every year, starting in October and ending in March, there was a six month course where people could sign up from anywhere in the world, come to Mayapur and learn all of the uh, details of how to worship the deity in different ways. There were courses, there were um, workshops, various types of activities to teach people how to worship. Then they had a second department, which was for cooking. And they had, they had gotten some of the best cooks to teach devotees the science of cooking for the deities like that. And at the end of the six months, there would be a graduation ceremony, which I always attended when I was in Mayapur of the devotees who had completed those six months. And they would always give out certificates and there was always gradations of qualifications that were exemplified. In other words, we found we saw some devotees excel so much in there that they were honored by everyone in their, in their outstanding uh, uh, learning of how to worship the deities and how important this was as a foundation for building our society. Uh, many of these devotees who are now in different places of, around the world have taken that what they had learned from uh, the teachers, Janani Vas was there, Pankajangri was there, Nishringa Kavacha was there and others and made it a wonderful uh, learning experience which really put quality in our deity worship around the world, which was very much needed and still is in some places around the world. So that Mayapur Academy was a wonderful thing. We have our, here in our uh, God family, we have Raghupati Prabhu from the United Kingdom. He went through that six month course and graduated you know, and with excellence in deity worship uh, qualities and abilities. So that was started by these two brothers, <laughs> the, the Mayapur Academy like that. So they were involved in many things that were happening all around Mayapur, many of the projects like that. And, but they always had time to tend the morning programs, um, to worship the deity, to give classes, to, to do their own individual studies. They were expert at training others and bringing them into positions of leadership and management which allowed them to do to work in other areas. So this is uh, some of the amazing qualities of uh, Janani Vas, Pankajangri. It's a great loss for the devotees. The devotees are feeling it. There was uh, such an outpouring of emotional anguish. But it's amazing to see um, how Pankajangri left the world. He was in Mayapur. He was sick. They decided to bring him to Calcutta Hospital. But at one point, I don't know what changed, but they, they decided to bring him back to Mayapur. And that was perfect because he was able to leave the Dham in front of his worshipful Lord, who he gave his entire life to. Lord Nisringadev and Sri 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 Radha Madhava and Panchatattva, of course. So a glorious departure into the, in the Holy Dham. And the time he left, I was speaking to Nisringatirtha, which is uh, a disciple in Mayapur. He was telling me that um, this time that he departed was the most auspicious time for departure. Uh, it was right around noontime, it was 12.15 p.m. Uh, uh, Indian time. So Krishna orchestrated, or we might even say Lord Nisringadev orchestrated everything. And uh, everyone feels very strongly that there's no doubt that uh, sometimes we speculate and we say, well, 
Uh, when somebody dies, we say, well, he went back to Godhead. That's not always true in every case. But we feel very strongly in this case that this is the actual. And Janani Vas Prabhu even said that himself. After Pankajangri had left, he was smiling and he was feeling very happy. And he expressed his happiness. He said, I know he went back to the spiritual world. He went back to Godhead. So that's glorious. That's a glorious life of devotion. Complete dedication, complete surrender, much sacrifice, and always remaining very, very uh, available to be with devotees, to take time with devotees, aside from all of the, their uh, other responsibilities that they had in, in doing their service to Shishi Madhavadava. So um, there's a lot we can say. There will probably be more and more uh, statements given by devotees in the upcoming days about his glories, his activities, like that. But we have the statement from Srila Prabhupada alone. The Prabhupada saw something very wonderful in both of these personalities. and. Uh, and he glorified that even before their wonderfulness had manifested. This was back in the time when they first came to Mayapur, only about a year or two later, Prabhupada could see it even before it manifested. <laughs> and when, you, when Prabhupada glorifies someone, you know it's not some cheap eulogy, it's actually something he's saying from his heart. It means that he understands the nature of these personalities who appeared to assist the Mayapur project in a very big, big way. All right, so I'll stop there and see if devotees would like to add anything on a personal level or just make a comment. <laughs> Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. It was really very nice, uh, you know, uh, listening about Pankajangri Prabhu. And I actually, I met him only once when he came to London for a 2018 uh, Jagannath uh, Snan Yatra. And uh, he gave a wonderful class and he came to South London Temple as well. And he spent so much time with us. He danced, he gave beautiful class on Lord, Lord Nassim Dev's pastimes. So it just, it he made a, uh, a amazing impact on our heart everyone was you know praying and begging to the lord that he survives this battle and uh, i still wonder i just still feel that he's still here uh, it's a shock actually it's yeah, a yeah. yeah sure but i'm actually feeling very strong that lord bishringa dave wanted, wanted to bring him back yeah i think this was the lord's plan and so, no matter what we want, <laughs> the Lord's plan becomes the reality. So this is this is how I felt. I didn't feel so much of a. I, I mean, when Bhakti Chiru Maharaj left, that was a great devastation for me. I mean, I took it very hard. But when Pankajangri left. I felt that this was Krishna's arrangement. He wanted to take him back home, back to Godhead. Um, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, uh, Lila Shakti here. Um, Guru Maharaj, Pankaj Giri Prabhu came to my house in, in uh, 2015 uh, when he came here to collect uh, Lakshmi for Mayapur project and he brought uh, Lord Nityananda's uh, Paduka. And uh -huh. I, yes, and I was suffering with cancer. So he he came to our house and he personally put those padukas on my head and he said, you will be serving for many years to come. And uh, I remember very fondly his blessings and he sent, when he went back, he sent me a special Tulsi garland from um, Lord Nashinga Dev. And I feel overwhelmed that he's left. And um, 
Oh. Yeah, I'm, we feel we feel there's a there's an emptiness that's there yes. now. That was not wasn't there before. Yes. Especially for me, I was living right next to him. Every time I would go to Mayapur, he was just, I mean, just all I had to do was walk four steps and I was at his room. We were mm -hmm. right next to each other. And the Janani Vas was just two rooms away from where we were. So I was always interacting with them in one way or another. Of course, they were always doing their service. But one thing I saw about Pankajangri when he wasn't, when he was in his room, he would spend so much time just reading Bhagavatam. He just yeah. loved to read the Shrimad. Yes. Yes, and, and he, he did. So. Yeah. He did say to, to me as well that you just uh, concentrate on Srimad Bhagavatam and um, Krishna will protect you, Lord Narsingadev will protect you. When I saw mm -hmm. him leaving, it kind of felt unreal and uh, the sense of that emptiness is hard to, to deal with at the moment, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we can rejoice in the fact that now he is back, back in the spiritual world. <laughs> yeah, this this is the mood of departure of a great soul. There is the loss on our level, but there is a sense of happiness that comes from knowing that they're now their life was perfect, and they have achieved perfection, and they're now back in the spiritual world. With the Supreme Lord. So we can we find shelter in that at the same time. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. But thank you for sharing that. I think after listening to what you just said, I sincerely feel that that mercy that you got was a deciding factor in you getting well. <laughs> Yes, Guru Maharaj, because my cancer was at stage four. And doctors were saying that I will not pull through. But then, then Pankaj Giri Prabhu came and he, he took those padukas out from the, from the thali. And he, with his two hands, he put them on my head. And he just laughed and he said, now you've got blessing from Lord Nityananda, so you will be all right. Mm -hmm. That was those those shoes are very special. Yes, very very special. It's not just any old Nityananda padukas. These are the Maha padukas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're so happy you're still with us. Thank you. <laughs> Please continue to inspire the devotees the way you're doing it. Yes, Guru Maharaj, and. Um, I I from I have never shared this, but today I would like to share something that whenever I used to go to Mayapur, I would uh, I would pray to Lord Nityananda that uh, I would like to take shelter of, uh, of 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 your devotee who who is passed in your exam. This was my prayers, and soon after that, you gave us shelter, Guru Maharaj. So I feel very blessed. Uh, yeah, everything is arranged by the Lord. <laughs> yes. He fulfills yes. the desire of his, he likes to fill the, the desire of his devotees. Yes, well, thank you. I also thank feel you. very, I'm also feeling very fortunate that you have come because I, I feel blessed and those devotees who will come in contact with you know that they're going to get the best guidance in Krishna consciousness. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, it's all yours and Srila Prabhupada's mercy. Thank you. I hope we can someday again meet. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, I'm eagerly waiting. Mm. Uh, yes, I'm eagerly eager to be part of a larger group of the devotees, which I spent so much time with, especially yeah. so many wonderful devotees in the in uh, London. Yes. 
Yeah, we are just waiting for the situation to subside a bit. And um, look forward to the day to serve you and um, cook for you. That's the only thing I can do. Well, you can also give me darshan of Radha Dambodar. <laughs> yes, yes, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> yes. Uh, Guru Maharaj, there is a you new should, there, I, I, there is... I should show you I should show you my altar. My altar is I have a whole section just Radha Dhammadar. That's all there is, just one section. It's Krishna in his Dhammadar feature. Yes. <laughs> I would like to. Someday. Maybe I'll uh, I'll try to send you either a small video or a sh or a few photos. That would be nice. That would be really um, a, a, a great honor to take darshan of your altar, Guru Maharaj. It's all Radha Damodar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Radha Damodar here are taking good care of me. And recently, there is another new edition. I, I have received a. Radha Raman Shaligram Sheila. Oh, from from Vrindavan? Yes, yes, Guru Maharaj. Really? From Padmanabh Goswami? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Oh wow, that's 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 really glorious. That's auspicious. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Now everyone will be running to your door to get darshan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, people can come, devotees can come. <laughs> well, that, that's 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 very special. I'm not yes. going to ask you how that happened, but, but I know, knowing you, I know you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just begged, and I said, I'm I'm begging at the moment. Next, I will be borrowing. Otherwise, I'll steal. So it's up to you. <laughs> well, uh, I think you have the mood of Mother Yasoda. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah. My obeisance is to you. <laughs> no, no, Guru Maharaj. Please, please. My obeisance is to you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Um, I see Dr. Roberto and Janadivas in one photo. Hare Krishna, dear Maharaj, Janaki Nath Prabhu is here. I've been I've been calling Janaki Nath for the last two days, but I guess he's uncallable. <laughs> <laughs> Practically, yeah, uh, he's resting a lot. Hmm. Uh, Maharaj, I'd like to share something. Uh, uh, Janaki Nath would like to share his experience with Janaki Vas Prabhu, if it's possible. Yeah, please, if you could speak, then uh, Roberto will just speak on your behalf. Yeah, so I'll say, um, once I was in one of the books, and I approached a woman, and she said that she is actually the sister of Chanakvas and Mother Chanakvas. Okay, so once he he approached uh, on the Sankitan uh, book distribution, a woman she, uh, who said that she's a sister of the brothers. <laughs> Uh, and they were, and she was glorifying her brothers how they live in Mayapur, and you know he was really shocked <laughs> about this. And, uh, when Janani was with him, we actually made him drive around, and he grew up in his old house. When, when, when he came here? Yeah, yeah. I was serving him driving uh -huh. around, so he took us to where he grew up in school in his house. Uh, so when he came here, Janani was uh, bravo. Then uh, Janani Nath was serving him, and they were, he was actually driving them around his school, his like, you know, youth, and he was growing up and all these small details around. Last night I saw the uh, I got the mercy was when I would take Marathon, I went downstairs to take Darshan in the temple, and Uncle Janaka was there with the Nityananda Paduka, and mm. he blessed me with Marathon. It was the best Marathon I had. Uh, so, Patrick. Uh, so uh, the, when was it? When was it? 2016. 2016. He was actually preparing for this uh, for the marathon, and he was just going to the darshan uh, to the temple room after he was going 
I guess, out or something. He, he saw a uh, Pakajari Prabhu with the, the, with the Padukas, uh, with Nityananda, and he gave them the blessings, and that was the best uh, marathon ever. <laughs> like few, few, few small short things. We didn't know he had a sister. Is she young, younger or older? Younger. younger. And a brother that comes regularly here as well in a minute, right? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Thank you for sharing that. It's <laughs> my great fortune. Yeah, great, great fortune to be in the Sangha of such devotees. I think, I can't remember the year, but I remember when I was in London and I was at the manor. I was staying at the manor at the time when Pankajangri arrived. And then he stayed for quite some time giving the regular classes there. I think it was at least 10, 12 years ago, maybe somewhere around 2005 or six, something like that, maybe a little, maybe in that area. But he, he, he would travel, not often, but when he would travel, he would go to many places and preach Krishna consciousness. He loved to preach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we pray you get well, Janaki Nath. That's one of our main prayers. It's a constant prayer. It's uh. You know, Guru Maharaj, your, your classes are actually the source of the life for him. It's like uh, getting a banana and dipping it on. What do you mean? Banana and dipping it on. Uh -huh, it's like your classes is like is it taking banana and dipping it in honey. Uh, uh, uh. Say so much. Well, awesome. And then so, you put a little chill, then you put a little chili on the banana with honey and then you take it, right? <laughs> Some chili in there too. <laughs> Spice it up. Well, sometimes it overshadows the banana. So uh, he's using this example because somebody else was using this example to glorify your class. In, in the recent classes, somebody said that. It, well, you can say that the only, it's amazing that I'm giving class. That's pretty much how it's said. It's not amazing classes. It's amazing I'm giving classes. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, Krishna is inspiring me, and devotees seem to be eager, so we're coming on every day and trying to do something. We've been talking about Prithu Maharaj, milking the earth, we'll, and then uh, we'll have tomorrow. We'll have a different schedule. It's at noon time, UK time tomorrow. It's once every two weeks like that. Every other Thursday, it's like that. So uh, yeah. But um, we wish you both well, and uh, we look forward to the day when Janaki Nath is fully again back in his element, hey, preaching Krishna consciousness and enlivening the devotees yeah, with his with his association. He's enlivening. He's enlivening all of us. There are so many people that want to come to Dashan. <laughs> constantly so it's like uh, amazing opportunity to serve him this way he is krishna conscious uh, he's a magician he can pull our illusion <laughs> yeah maya is also a pure devotee and she does a lot of illusions too <laughs> there's different kinds of great devotees <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> if I had to go through if what I would if I've had to go through what you had to go through, Johnny Johnny Kinath, I would never make it. I couldn't possibly make it. It's amazing how uh, strong you are in your Krishna consciousness, despite what what Maya has thrown at you. <laughs> it's amazing. Anyway, we all pray for you that it all gets better. Well, thank you, Guru Maharaj. Adi, whoa. Uh, just one more thing. Uh, just one more thing, yeah? Uh, uh, he's glorifying uh, Maharaj, your storytelling of uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's past. Uh, like, generally, storytelling is amazing that he actually gets the last time uh, he, uh, the story tells about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he really felt like he was there. So it's like all the temporal class, classes uh, you were giving, he was listening to all of them. Well, okay, based on that, I think we'll again. Re resurrect some of Lord Chaitanya's pastimes that we haven't spoke about before. There's many Jai, that haven't been haven't been said yet. Thank you, and my obeisances to both of you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Jai. Anjali, what's next? <laughs> Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. I was just wanted to check if any devotees want to say or glorify uh, Pankajangri Prabhu or say a few words of their own realizations or anything. Devotees, you Manisha can Manisha is asking for, asking for a schedule, but we have posted the calendar now, right? We have the calendar. Yes, So uh, maybe somebody should inform Manisha that we have a ongoing calendar which we fill in regularly about the classes the timings and uh, any other details uh, to mother lavangia she just sent out the calendar you can simply download it and add it to your calendar so manisha mataji maybe if you can share your email id lavanya mataji can uh, send you the calendar Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. I have Manisha Mataji's uh, email address I will send to her. Okay. Yes, go on, Lavanya Mataji, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I was Anybody? saying that I have the email address. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? <laughs> Okay, I have a class coming up in about another hour in which I'll speak the same subject at the Slovenian temple. So till tomorrow, uh, we'll continue with Maharaj Pritu, Milk in the Earth, and it'll be in that same chapter, Srimad Bhagavatam, fourth canto, ch chapter 18. And the verse will be put up uh, very soon. Sure, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj, for talk today. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. And all glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to the assembled devotees. Jay, Vanchukal Patharu Pascha Kripa Sindhu Vev Chapatita Nam Pavne Bhya Vaishnav Bhya Namo Nama. Jay, Anand Koti Vaishnav Vidhuki Jay. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Archana. Thank you, Archana City. Hare Krishna. Suda. Mm -hmm. Thank Susana. you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh, Anasuya and little Rinda. 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 How are you, Rinda? Hi, Krishna. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Maharaj. Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Vivekji. Thank you very much, Guru Deva. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. All glories to Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Arjunan, Arjunandana. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj.
Rajendra Nandana. Hare Krishna. Guru Bhakti. <laughs> Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Vishwa Pavani. Hare Krishna. Mahatma Manhima. All glories to your service. Thank you, Mahima, for once sending beautiful, beautiful statements of Srila Prabhupada. They're so timely and so perfect. Thank you. I, I couldn't imagine anything even more appropriate. Thank you very much, Mahima. Thank you, Namrata. Hare Krishna Maharaj. I hope everything is well in India with you. Uh, yeah, for now it is good, but India is still, uh, you know, struggling with the uh, virus treat. The the treat is very much, uh, you know, uh, there's there's a lot of lockdown in many of the cities, so the situation is not that better. Mm, it'll get better. Just. Uh, Take the proper precautions and yes, keep your yes, health. Yes. Keep your health strong. Yeah. Make sure, you, make sure you get some exercise. Exercise is important. These lockdowns can force us to become a little less active, which is not good. The body needs activity. Yes, the life is more sedimentary than before. Yeah, you are you are very much right. Yeah. Find ways to uh, to do exercises. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you very much. Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna.